Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I want to show you my bug out bag. Now, I know that a lot of people think that they are safe and they will never need a bug out bag, but actually there are some kind of, you know, events or disasters that might force you to leave your home. For example, natural disasters like hurricanes or wildfires. Uh, last year we had two cases like uh, one hurricane in Florida where people had to evacuate and leave their homes and we had a wildfire in Canada where people had to leave an entire town. So um, natural disasters occur and you never know where it hits you on a planet so it's always good to prepare some kind of go back. Also there are other kind of disaster scenarios which are man-made, for example wars, civil wars or problems with nuclear plants uh, we have seen that with Chernobyl and Fukushima and people had to leave their homes for good. Let's hope that we never need our bag out bags, but it's better to be prepared than sorry. Okay guys, so I have watched a ton of bug out bag videos on YouTube and most of them are very good, but still a lot of them carried too much unnecessary stuff with them. Today I want to show you the essentials that belong into a bug out bag and although I'm just taking the essentials with me you saw that my bag was pretty big and bulky and you have to bear in mind that you still have to walk maybe miles into the wilderness to come to a safe place or to come to your bug out spot. Okay, this here is all of my stuff. Let's start here at the left side. Uh, the biggest part of my survival pack is a sleeping bag which I have in this waterproof container so that it doesn't get wet. And the sleeping bag in here is a down sleeping bag which goes down to minus 12 degrees Celsius. And here in Austria it's getting very cold so I have to take a warm sleeping bag with me which is very bulky but this is a necessity. Never make the mistake to go without a sleeping bag. The next thing that I have in here is an ultra lightweight down mat by the company Expat. It's very warm and it's suited for winter time conditions. Then I have a very lightweight tarp which is by Snug Bag and it's just big enough to fit one person uh, underneath it. Plus I have some bungee cords and cordage to set it up and all of my gear is lying on a military poncho which I'm going to throw all over me and my rucksack if it's raining. Next in here I have extra clothing, like this warm hat, two extra pair of warm socks, uh, extra underwear and long chance, gloves and a shemak. Next I want to show you my hygiene kit. It's a very basic kit with tampons, toothbrush, tissues and a toothpaste. Also, you shouldn't forget taking a first aid kit with you. This one is brand new. In the wilderness, you're going to need some kind of container to carry water and to boil water. And here you can see that I have a very lightweight titanium set, which is awesome. And for example, if it's very cold, you can fill up the canteen with hot water and take it inside of your sleeping bag. Also, I do have this titanium spoon fork. It weighs nothing. And yeah, it's just a luxury item. Here I have a very important item, which is the soya mini filter, which helps you to purify your water. And for the mini filter, I have this bottle here, which uh, will contain the dirty water, and then you can screw the filter on top and filter the water through. For fire making, I have a fire steel by Light My Fire, and I have some matches. And in here I also do have a fishing kit. Now for food, I have brought quite a lot of food and this will yeah, be enough for about five days, which is the amount of time that I need to reach my bug out locations if, if I had to go on foot, which is the worst case scenario. And in here I have several different, you know, uh, meals ready to eat, freeze-dried hiking food, I have a pack of rice, I have some beans and, and then I have this MRE here which is ready to eat and you don't need hot water for eating it. Right here you can see my cutting tools. Here I have a foldable saw 
which is awesome to cut firewood. It's very efficient. And then I have my cold steel SRK survival knife. And if I had to choose one knife that I trust my life on, it would be this knife. Pretty good, solid and cuts like hell. What I also do recommend taking with you is a multi-tool like this Letterman Wave here. It has extra blades, extra saw, it has pliers and a lot of other tools which might save your life in a survival situation. Okay, next I want to show you my compass. I think it's important to bring a compass and some maps of the area with you so that you know where you are, where your bug out location is, where you have to go, where your uh, survival caches are. Orientation is very important. Another item that I want to show you is this dust mask, which has a FFP3 rating. It's lightweight, it's small, doesn't take up a lot of room, so I figured that I throw one in there. And actually, there are a lot of occasions when a dust mask comes in very handy. Okay, next I have a headlamp here by the company Frunite. This is the TH10 model, and I think that a headlamp is very important because you have both of your hands free and if you hear some noises around your camp you can go look and see what it is. I have an extra battery. I also did bring a power bank. This one has 12,500 milliamps so I can charge all my um, electrical devices with this. When you're out there in the wilderness you most likely don't have any kind of internet or other sources of news so I can recommend taking a hand crank radio with you like this one here and yeah it's just so important to gather intelligence and know what's going on maybe you have to move to another location or maybe the threat is already over the bug out situation has ended and then you can go home here you can see five packs of 17 HMR ammunition and each of the packs contains eight rounds and this here is my survival rifle I've made a video about it it's pretty cool and lightweight and it would be a great tool for either hunting or self-defense in a bug out situation so this is the gear that I would recommend packing for a bug out bag and is this a lot of things no, it's not. This is the bare minimum that you need for a longer period in the wilderness. And I know that a lot of people pack even more things, but I, I don't know if, if this is a good thing because everything that you have to pack, you also need to carry. And maybe, you know, a lot of uh, people have the false sense of security that their car will be working and that the uh, route that they travel will be free. But what if, what if your car uh, has a problem, or what if your car has gotten stolen, or what if you know there's a huge traffic jam and you can't get out with your car? Then you have to go on foot, and then you can't take that much stuff anymore. So I believe it's good to take more stuff with you if you can go with a car. But I was, would always prepare a rucksack if I had to leave my car and bug out on foot. Yeah guys, I want to thank you for watching. This was my bug out bag. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Stay tuned until next time.